Christmas should be a time of happiness, charity and wanton overindulgence. Yet as the big day approaches, its sparkle has been somewhat diminished by the political events of the last few months. The general election loomed large over December, drowning out the music and magic of the season. With the passage of the withdrawal agreement, the Brexit process will begin on 31 January. There is fierce disagreement among politicians and commentators about when it will be done but some suggest it will be around the time people stop using the word Brexit in everyday conversation. Many are pessimistic about what 2020 will bring, but they should fear not. Snuggled between the doom and gloom there are plenty of reasons to be cheerful. Squint hard enough and you'll see them. Those who dislike Boris Johnson should take comfort in the fact that he will have a miserable new year. Yes. He has a stonking majority which affords him all the power of the final boss in a video game, but that presents its own challenges. Our Prime Minister is infamous for many things, but work ethic is not one of them. The hardest Boris Johnson has ever grafted was when he wrote two pieces setting out his pro-Remain, pro-Leave stance on Brexit for his newspaper column. In 2020 Boris Johnson cannot skulk into TV studios pointing at members of Parliament and wailing don't blame me, the big boys did it. His successes will be his own, but so too will his failures. Given he is a man that often struggles to button up his shirt correctly I think we all know which way that scale will tip. In the new year we will see the battle between Holyrood and Westminster over a second Scottish independence referendum intensify considerably. As Johnson and Sturgeon square off in a game of my mandate is better than your mandate few believe that Boris Johnson will in closer section 30 order with his Christmas card to the First Minister. Scotland, which has had another Conservative Prime Minister forced upon it that it didn't vote for, might not be feeling full of festive cheer or hopeful for what the new decade will bring. But there is hope. Scotland has a lifeboat from Brexit ready to be boarded, in the form of another referendum on independence. The fact that said lifeboat is currently being held, chained and padlocked, in a UK government dock should not concern supporters of independence too much. Boris Johnson has the only key and he's forever losing things and forgetting where he put them. Like his principles, his wives and his undisclosed number of children. Comedy lovers too, have much to look forward to in the year ahead. The Labour Party is having a leadership election and we all remember how well the last one went. After boldly declaring there would be a period of reflection in the wake of their disastrous general election p for more on this story, visit the news article link.